Hey, good afternoon, uh, everybody coming from Palm Valley, California, as we usually do. Today's topic is going to be on the uh, POC selection board. Uh, I just finished coming from San Diego last week. I was an actual voting member on the POC 50% board. And uh, what I want to do today is just give you some insight as to what that looked like uh, so that you can better prepare for the future boards. But before I do that, let me start by saying, uh, uh, talking a little bit about the overall POC board. So just so you understand, there's four boards a year. Some districts have three boards. The 12th Marine Corps District, we had a board in October, uh, this board in December, which is the 50% board. Uh, the goal of the 50% board is, is just what it sounds like, is to select 50% of whatever the district needs for the year. So for example, uh, if this is just a random number. They need 30 ground applicants. They'll select between 15 to 17 applicants at the 50% board. Um, so the four boards that go a year, typically, uh, it's going to go in October, December. The 75% POC board is going to be in February. And the last board, the 100% POC board, is going to be uh, around April time frame. Again, just some dates for you to think, uh, think about and, and as you prepare and put your package together. So let me tell you a little bit about this board that I just sit, in, sit, sit on. Um, I've been in also since 2015, and I've been a member of, of a couple boards. And I can tell you that this has been the most competitive board yet. Uh, a couple reasons for that. I think there's higher quality individuals applying for the program. On top of that, more OSOs are submitting more names, which in turn becomes more competitive. There's less allocations, more names. Uh, so it's a very, very competitive board. Uh, I think uh, overall across every component, air, ground, uh, they were selecting about 35% of the applicants uh, at most uh, that were in that board, and the ones that weren't selected, they were still very competitive. Uh, so let me give you some insight as far as what I saw on the 50% board. PFT was king. PFT was king uh, on, on this board. Uh, I don't think I ever remember a POC board that the average PFT was about a 280. But here's the interesting part about that. I saw PFTs that were lower than the 280 mark, but these guys were doing max pull-ups, max, uh, the runtime was great, but it was the crunches. And I saw PFTs that were kind of high on the high end, 285 and, and above, and what they all had in common was their crunches. The new PFT standards uh, weighs heavily on those crunches. So again, if you want to be competitive for a POC board or an OCC board, you have to max those crunches out. We were briefing kids that were going to some of the best schools in California and on the West Coast that were not being selected just because they were running a 260 plus PFT. Once the board sees that, they kind of put you to the side. Uh, and again, I, I understand that because uh, the PFT is a, a reflection of your dedication, of your hard work. And if you're not meeting the 280, 285 standard, then, then you're probably not a good fit, at least at the 50% board. So again, PFT was king uh, with a very high average. And not just that, but it crunches. You, you, have, to, you have to do max out your crunches. Uh, and, and obviously overall PFT score, but again, shoot for the 280, 285 for the 75% board, uh, and it's possible. Uh, the next thing is, is pictures. Uh, before the POC board, for any board for that matter, you have to take your professional photo. Do not take that for granted. I've seen people in just regular, uh, 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 just a regular button shirt with a polo with some slacks. I'll tell you, as, as a voting member, and, and, a, and all, I think every voting member kind of agreed, if you look like crap on your picture, it, it's a reflection, of, again, of, of, of how serious you're taking this program. So again, you might be a little bit hurried with the application. You might get pushed a little bit faster. And, it's, and it comes, there's going to come a time where it's like, hey, you have to take your picture, invest in a, in a suit. If you have to rent it, if you have to borrow it, invest in a suit, look sharp. Do not have a goatee. Get a marine haircut. There is nothing more impressive than when you see a candidate, especially a junior, sophomore, or a freshman, look like a marine already. That is huge. So again, invest in a, in a, in a good-looking suit that fits well. 
and take a picture. So invest in that because, again, I can't tell you how many times we saw a picture. Uh, the person didn't look good in, his, in, uh, uh, in general, not just his outfit, but just in general didn't look good. His outfit didn't look good. His or her outfit didn't look good. And it was passed. So, again, PFT and your picture. And for this board, uh, people were looking more than other boards at letters of recommendation. So how can you strengthen that? Like, like it's, it's what I tell my applicants, it's when it comes to letters of recommendation, follow the keywords JJ did type buckle. Those are the 14 Marine Corps leadership traits. When you give these letters to your employers or, or your coaches or, or anybody that you know, make sure that they are hitting on those keywords. JJ did type buckle is an acronym for the leadership traits. Make sure they hit on those words. On top of that, if I was you, I would seek out Marines, Marines to write letters on you, uh, especially Marine officers. Don't hold, those hold a lot of weight and make it known to your also that you have these letters so that they can be briefed. Uh, again, this is just uh, the board that I set, set in. Um, PFT was king. Yes, also's uh, uh, thoughts or write up about you was worth a lot as well. But again, if the PFT score is not there, uh, nothing else kind of matters. So you have to be, I, I think the lowest PFT score we selected was maybe a, a, a 270, but we're talking about a 4.0 GPA from one of the top universities in the country uh, and, and great letters of recommendation. And that was really not, that was not the norm. So again, for you to be competitive, work on these things. I don't know what the board's going to look, uh, look for on the 75%, but again, these are just little tips on, on, on what we looked at for the 50% board. Stop making excuses while your PFT, your crunches, once you stop making excuses, you're going to see your performance uh, uh, improve. Again, seek out those, those as a recommendation because I tell you, the board doesn't care. The board doesn't care if you don't have time, if you work, that's just how, and, and that's how life is in general, right? So stop making excuses, seek out a better PFT score, Take a great picture. Nobody cares that you don't have a suit. Uh, at the end of the day, the board's going to look at you whether you can afford one or not. And if you can't afford one, you figure it out. And that is a recommendation. Work on those three things. Talk to you also. Some of the things I mentioned in the earlier videos. And you're going to have a strong chance of getting selected at the February board. That's it. Thank you.